Mounting concerns in the US and Canada, meanwhile, over Chinese police hubs and people allegedly spying for China. In the last few days, alleged spies have been caught, accused of stealing sensitive information and passing them to entities in China. The FBI director has also spoken on the so-called Chinese police stations in the US, which according to a report are part of Chinese surveillance inside America. Let's first talk about Canada. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police charged a Chinese origin man, Yue Xing Wong, on four offenses, including espionage. The 35-year-old employee worked with the Hydro-Quebec company in Canada and has been accused of sending trade secrets to China. Wong is also charged with unauthorized use of a computer, breach of trust by a public officer, and obtaining trade secrets. And he is set to appear in court on Tuesday to face these four charges. According to the authorities, the crimes were allegedly committed between February 2018 and October 2022. The officials also revealed that Wong published academic academic papers and filed patents in connection with the Chinese universities without the permission of the company. In the United States, a Chinese intelligence officer was sentenced to 20 years in prison for stealing technology from the U.S. and French aerospace firms. The person, identified as Xu Yan Jun, was accused of stealing commercial secrets from GE Aviation, one of the world's leading aircraft engine manufacturers, and Francis Safran Group, which was working with GE Aviation on engine development. Earlier this month, a federal jury in Cincinnati convicted Shu on all counts, conspiracy to commit economic espionage, conspiracy to commit trade secret theft, attempted economic espionage and attempted trade secret theft. Now, these two developments coming amid a report which suggested that China has established dozens of overseas police stations as part of Beijing's crackdown against dissent. The report by the European agency Safeguard Defender saying that China has established at least 54 police-run overseas service centers across five continents. Now, these centers were also established in nine countries where Chinese nationals are no longer allowed to live without good reason. And for the first time ever, the U.S. has acknowledged the existence of these Chinese overseas police stations in the country during a Senate hearing on the threats to the U.S. Homeland FBI Director Christopher Wray was questioned on the Chinese police stations in the U.S. And the FBI Director said that he is very concerned about this. One of the most significant threats that we face in the homeland. It's not only a... Well, Senator, uh, like you, I'm very concerned about this. Um, We are aware of the existence of these stations, and we've had now a number of indictments that you may have seen of the Chinese engaging in uncoordinated, quote-unquote, law enforcement action right here in the United States, harassing, stalking, surveilling, blackmailing uh, people who they just don't like or who disagree with the, the Xi regime. Uh, And so it's a real problem, and it's something that we're talking with our our foreign partners about as well, because we're not the only country where this uh, has occurred. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.